What's going on, everybody? Uh, just wanted to kind of briefly talk about something that not many people have talked about yet. Uh, I'm on a 2020 Apple M1 MacBook Pro. This is the 16 gigabyte, one terabyte SSD model. Uh, and I just wanted to show off modded Minecraft. So this is something that I haven't seen anybody really discuss. I've seen a lot of people talk about shaders and that's great, but I wanted to actually go through the, the realistic day-to-day um, uh, -day life with this as a uh, on a forge server with about 150 mods uh, and just sort of take a look at the performance um, so you'll see it dips quite a bit um, to go over video settings i have uh, i'm playing this at 1650 by 1050 instead of playing it um, at retina resolution i notice that there's not really a difference you can probably play it at retina resolution with no problems whatsoever um, i have pretty much all day today um, and the biggest reason is, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is entirely GPU bound so that no matter what happens, um, or CPU bound rather, uh, so that as you're emulating, no matter what happens, the M1 graphics can handle the game, but the CPU maybe can't. Um, and that's mostly because this is running through Rosetta, through Java, um, which, you know, is to be expected. It's also worth noting, as you can see, I do not have Optifine installed. So we've got Biome Blend at 5x5, 8 uh, eight chunk render distance, which is what the server is set at. So this isn't even a restriction on this laptop. It's just how it's set up. Uh, most everything is pretty default. I've got mid-map levels turned off because that is a killer for performance even on gaming PCs in modded Minecraft. Uh, and I've got V-Sync on, uh, Smooth Lighting Max, Graphics Fancy, so on and so forth. Uh, so from there, you can see we're playing around here. Uh, I've got this, you know, little board in here. I'm not really here to show off what's on the server, but more to show off, again, what you can expect from performance. So I've been on this server playing for about a month and a half, almost two months now. Uh, so I've made a lot of progress, and I've got a lot of machinery. Uh, you can see that pretty clearly here. Um, even if I go under here, you'll see that I've got other things going on. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of small blocks and, and sort of... Uh, I've got these that are basically referencing the original block and then kind of running with them and having fun. Uh, so there's definitely a lot going on here. Uh, if I go over here, you'll see that this room has tons and tons and tons of custom little renderers. Uh, I've got lots of these machines. I've got a very large network here that is set up um, with a little computer craft script here that's running. Um, so, you know, it's, it's definitely... Um, not a light load, not just doing nothing. Um, and if I actually turn VSync off, not that you would actually notice because it's capped at 60 FPS, but you'll see we regularly get around 70 or so, but it does also dip down to the 40s every now and then. Um, so you can see I've got this little greenhouse area. These are all tile blocks, like all of these are tile entities that are running with a uh, little craftery. I've got this large latex system that's all custom logic and all machined up and all fancy fancy. Um, so this runs just fine over here. And this is all pretty high technical stuff. I've even got some create stuff going on in here. You can see some of these create movements going on. Um, so you can see definitely everything's moving just fine. Everything's working just fine. It's honestly astounding how well everything has worked considering it's an M1 Mac. Uh, if we take a look at somewhere a little more tame, uh, this place will definitely get better frames because there's only just a bunch of mobs in here. Um, every now and then we're going to get dips as we load in these chunks and as we render more stuff. But for the most part, uh, like I said, pretty tiny. You'll see we're in the 80s and 90s um, because it's mostly just storage with all these tile empty chests. Um, not a whole lot going on by means of particles or automation or actual like changing logistics. Um, and then here... Pretty much the same can be said here. Um, you know, we get a little more framerage here because there's just a lot more space for things to happen. Um, but you can see lots going on with create around here. Lots and lots. Uh, and if we come up here, you'll see more storage chests and just a big old windmill. So everything here, like I said, pretty complicated. Um, but still running at a very reasonable FPS. As mentioned, I've been hanging out on the couch all day playing on this thing to hang out with my dog. Um, and it, it dips, uh, I won't lie, it dips. But as mentioned, if you don't want to play, I know Java Edition can be a pain to deal with in uh, the, the full screen mode I have it in now. 
like I know it makes the resolution change and causes a lot of stuttering. I get that. Um, but yeah, also keep in mind that I'm recording at the same time on this using I Show You Instant, which is also running through Rosetta, uh, capturing the whole screen at retina resolution. So that is also worth considering as I you know, run around and do these things, uh, that it's also running in emulation and also recording the whole screen and writing to disk all at retina resolution as well. So yeah, I think that's it. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick, uh, kind of explain what was going on here, and show off what this looks like when you're actually using this uh, in a realistically modded scenario where you're going to play a mod pack like um, most mod packs are set up with a, a good 150, maybe even 200 nowadays mods. Uh, so I wanted to show it because I know it's definitely something that I was curious about and hadn't seen anything on yet. So there you go. I hope it helped.